All right, California Congressman Eric Swalwell announced he's running for president this week, and he has a really clear message. Russia, 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 the Russians, 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 Russian developers, the Russians, and Russia, Russia, and the Russians, in the Russians, in Russians, in Russians, Russians, Russia, Russia's behalf, and Russia's interests, Russia's position, he, Russia's, Russia's, the Russians, the Russians, Russia, with Russia, 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 the Russian. I don't spend the overwhelming majority of my time on Russia. No, of course you don't spend the overwhelming majority of your time on Russia. Okay, look, I don't think he's worth discussing. I'm just going to leave you with this thought from a very good piece in the New York Times today. There are many reasons to run for president when you probably don't stand a chance. Uh, today's primaries tend to produce one nominee but many winners. Beyond the long-shot candidates effectively auditioning for cabinet positions or building a profile and donor base for future races, there are prospective books to sell and television contracts to sign, boards to join and paid speeches to paid speak. Any setback is temporary, any embarrassment surmountable. There's, this is a quote from a former aide to Mitch McConnell. There's just absolutely no downside and only upside. It is an industry of running for president. It is an industry of self-promotion. What better way to self-promote than run for president? I think that's all we need to say about Eric Swalwell. But here, look at this. This is serious. Earlier today, South Bend, Indiana Mayor Pete Buttigieg threw his hat in the ring, taking a shot at President Trump in the process. The forces changing our country today are tectonic. Forces that help to explain what made this current presidency even possible. That's why this time it's not just about winning an election. It's about winning an era. All right, Mayor Pete, what do we think? He's much more radical than people give him credit for. Um, look, I mean, as I said, it's a personality contest, and the fact that he's been able to rise quickly shows the Democrat Party has really not sure what their base is or where the soul of the Democrat Party is right now. And look, I mean, to if you go back to 2016, if you get hot quickly, you could stay hot. I mean, President Trump, mm -hmm. you know, he went to the top of the polls and he stayed there. Now he's president. So I think it's a mistake to immediately dismiss or discount him. I don't. Th I just think he's uniquely unqualified to be president. Well, I tell you, I mean, I'll just be honest. I've said this before. I really like him. I haven't studied his positions. Perhaps that's where the the problem lies. But I not only like him, I think he's an attractive candidate in terms of the message he's putting out there. I think, Katrina, that he, you know, he could be a serious contender for the nomination. And if he were to get it, actually quite a tough candidate for President Trump to run against. What do you think? Uh, I don't think so, because I do think um, that he's still very much a liberal Democrat, to mm -hmm. Charlie's point. I, and I also think that President Obama spoke a very good game. And look at how the last eight years ended up. Right. I think the voters are a little bit more educated right now about who can talk a good talk and then who can actually deliver. Mm -hmm. um, I think he's actually running for the vice presidential side of the mm -hmm. ticket. And he's right. using these attacks to fundraise. Attacks to fundraise. Mm -hmm. Okay. I do too. I think, I think he has a really great everyman quality about him, but he's already pulling hard to the left. I mean, this whole field is going to have to out left each other. And to win a general, you've got to pull to the center. And that would, that would be when the real test of who he is. And I don't think he's old enough or experienced enough well, to and, make mm -hmm. that shift in a very convincing way. And I think he's kind of lying okay. about well, being And, and also, I'm sure I, you heard it here yeah. first. This is going to get really nasty really quick. He seems like a very nice person. Mm -hmm. And boy, is this Democrat Party. They're going to get very negative and very yeah. nasty. And, that, you know, they're all nice. They all can unify in there giving out as much free stuff as humanly possible and how much they hate Donald Trump. I call it the Trump-hating Olympics is now the right. Democrat primary. But soon they are going to have a cross-firing squad to try to get the nomination. Mayor Pete, I hope uh, I hope you're ready. Okay, now well, that we'll see. You know, it's interesting how he seems to have you know, caught fire late, lately. And I'm going to do it again because I love saying it. I can't wait for Joe Biden to get in the race so we can do our swap <laughs> watch on Joe Biden. And, and his China so, connection. It's going to be so great. Oh, oh, boy. It's coming up Uncle quite Joe. soon. Uncle Joe. Creepy Uncle Joe. But it's, it's swampy Uncle Joe. That's the real point. All right.